Hello, in this video we're going to uh, derive the normal approximation to the t-distribution. I think it's pretty common knowledge that as the degrees of freedom in a t-distribution go to infinity, it does limit to a standard normal distribution. And in this video we're going to prove that. So here, if we look at the sample variance, you can rewrite the sum here as this difference. And then now we distribute the uh, 1 over n minus 1. And here we multiply and divide by n. And then we just distribute the n minus 1 here. Now, by the weak law of large numbers, that says that this sample mean converges to its expected value, the population mean, in probability. And here, this is a sample mean 2. And so this expected probability is sigma squared. So this difference converges in probability to 1 times sigma squared minus 1 times 0, which ends up being uh, sigma squared. So the sample variance converges to the, the population variance by the weak law of large numbers. So now... Um, if we look at a t-distribution, which generically is written as a standard normal random variable over the square root of a chi-squared random variable with k degrees of freedom divided by its degrees of freedom. This is how you define a t-distribution with k degrees of freedom. Now, let's break this down a little more. Look at the numerator. So here we can, uh, by the central limit theorem, you know, if we take the mean minus its expected value, um, and actually this isn't the central limit theorem, this is just the property of the normal random, the normal distribution. The mean is, is normal minus the expected value divided by the standard deviation. That's a standard normal distribution. Um, and then you can rewrite this, you know, invert, multiply the sigma squared, but take the I mean the square to n, but take the sigma to the other side and then take it into that and then you have to square it. So this, uh, this quantity here is a normal random variable zero sigma squared. Now here, again, this is a, uh, a chi-squared distribution with n minus one degrees of freedom. And uh, we're not going to cover that. I have a video on how that show to show that's a chi squared within minus one degrees of freedom. And then we, I also have a video showing that the sample mean and the sample uh, variance are independent when the data are normal. And so these two statistics are normal, even though it's from the same sample. So we can take their ratio, this standard normal, divided by chi-squared, divided by degrees of freedom, or the square root of that, um, is a t-distribution. And this simplifies to this, which again is a t. Now, if we look at uh, Slutsky's theorem, and we treat this as a, you know, this uh, limits in distribution to uh, normal zero sigma squared, and this converges in probability to the square root of uh, sigma squared. So by Slutsky's theorem, this converges to this ratio. T, uh, the T statistic converges to this. Now the square root of sigma squared is, of course, 1 over sigma. So when you take it in, you have to square it. And that, you know, so sigma squared over sigma squared is 1. So the t-statistic does limit to a standard normal distribution. So let's look at how quickly it converges. And so here the uh, CDF, a cumulative distribution function of, uh, of uh, this. So we look at the probability of being 1 or less. That's uh, 0.841. Probability of being 2 or less is 97.7. And then probably being less than three is 99.9. So uh, in the t distribution with n degrees of freedom, probably being less than one is um, 0.83, less than two is 0.963, less than three. And I'll just go ahead and show them. 
and what we see is as we increase in it gets closer and closer to 0.841 and then here as we you know in every case it gets closer and closer it limits to the standard normal distribution anyway that's all I have for today hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye